Hi Libra, it's Elle here to do your one card reading, okay? Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into it, Libra. Thank you, God, for blessing Libra with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Libra, the card that I got for you is the one card that I got for you is the five of swords okay so that is a first deacon Aquarius um, energy it looks like something went backwards you know it was reversal thought it was going forward it took a step or a turn back um, there is a no communication between you and an individual could be it could be anybody um, there's always friction. This is all, this is also an argument that's already been had. This has been mind games, manipulation. There's somebody who just wants to win or win you over or to dominate. Uh, they want to put it into also maybe a third party situation or somebody wants to win over the third party. If there is somebody else so I say if it was you, Libra, you knew that your person had another person. You want to win. You know, you want to be the victor. You want to have the last laugh. You want to um, knock, knock the other person out of the box or, or vice versa. This is what someone's trying to do in regards to you. This is an opportunity for you to sharpen your words. It could be like a friend group where there might be even digs taken at you or you're put in the midst of something. You're gonna have to sharpen your words, let your yay be your yay and your nay be your nay. Either you're in it or you're out of it, but you can't play both sides or you can't. Someone is not allowing you to rest easy on the sideline. They, they're trying to pull you or bait you into something. The five of swords says bad blood, especially within a friend group or a group of people. These people could have lived in your house or it could be siblings. It's like maybe you're thinking about how you can get everybody to come together or there could be togetherness or how you can have success and triumph and victory. Someone could want you to come back also, you know, and they, they manifest you back, but it didn't last long. Maybe there was a, a shouting match or you kind of picked up on the games, lies and a manipulation and you, you just ghosted, you just left, or vice versa. This is what someone did in regards to you. Yes, yeah, somebody definitely manifests you back. Uh, they, they were hoping, wishing to bring you back in, and they did, but it didn't stick. It went back to reversal, um, interference. Uh, you feel like there is interference or somebody running interference. You could have had this person's um, undying loyalty or they felt like they had yours but now something has shifted changed so somebody is trying to make sense of it all and they're saying okay it's because you have another person it's because you're dating other people somebody could feel like you're the one that got away and they want you back they could be slandering your name heavy slander uh, lies manipulation talking behind your back uh, argument um, once again, trying to bait you into something. They will not let you just rest easy on the sideline. They're trying to pull you into. This could be something about the past too. Like they're trying to bring up the past and bring it into the now. It's just like, this just doesn't make sense. Leave it there. So again, back to somebody feeling like you're the one that's gotten away. Um, you weren't always the one. It was just bad timing, the, the right person, wrong time. Or this is how you feel about a particular person. Or this is how you feel about the third party if you had to cut it off with a third party. This could even be what you told the third party. This is, a, you know, you're the right person, but it's just bad timing altogether. Because somebody's cluing in, spying in, or on me. This is what someone is saying, or this is what you are doing or saying to someone. The, it's like some.
somebody just wants to win you over and they'll say anything. I also heard say anything to get you involved, you know, to get you a part of, because it's like you're trying to stay out of. You, you want no parts of something, of, of this or of what somebody is, is trying to do or offer. Again, liable, um, liable when they're writing bad things about you and, and even slander, saying things that just are false, untrue about you and your character. You might even have a case here. You could even, you know, pull, get this person up on charges or, or cease and desist. Uh, coming up you have got like co big success commercial success in something and, and there's extreme jealousy you got like victory you won something could have won a, a court case I don't know but there's extreme jealousy and it's reversal and it's, it's lies, manipulation. Um, maybe that's why you won because somebody was lying, manipulating um, a, a large group of people. This is the advice of the five of swords, sharpen your words. So you just, it doesn't mean that you need to, you know, um, run the gamut on what curse words are explicit explicit ex, explicit that word you don't know what i'm trying to say um curse words uh derogatory phrases you don't have to kind of go look those up but it, it talks about um the art of war in terms of like um wordplay so i don't know maybe you need to you have snappy comebacks or you need to kind of, you gotta be sharp. You gotta be quick on your feet. There's somebody here who won't accept defeat also. They've been defeated. It's over. They won't accept that they didn't win. They didn't get what they wanted. Therefore, they just keep talking about you, keep coming at you, keep, just won't let it go. It's done. It's over. It's in the past. Stop bringing it back up. There's somebody here who won't accept defeat and they won't make recompense. They won't pay you back or give the apology. They won't do it. It's just all out war. It's all out um, defiance and um, ego. And it's, I'm gonna win at any cost, even when I've already lost. Somebody just won't accept defeat here. This is what I have for you, Libra. If it resonates for you, go over to the website, book your own reading there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy Ella coffee link. If you took something from this read, go ahead, give something back. Um, the link is below. It says buy Ella coffee. If you're a business minded individual, you, you would like to connect network with a like minded uh, personnel, then go ahead and sign up for the KTMG Keep the Momentum Going monthly conference call where we go over practical and spiritual method of either how to start, maintain, or grow your business. And if you feel like you want to connect with me one on one, uh, schedule your discovery call to see if I can help you get where you need to be. Thank you, many blessings to you. Take care. We were meant to create sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually mentally emotionally or even physically and this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations if you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction then you're in the right place as a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience 
as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality.